So we got some pretty big news in the sync licensing world I'd like to share with you. This actually just came out. BMI is changing to a for-profit business model. If you are not aware, BMI and ASCAP have been not for profit uh, up until today. So BMI is making this big change from basically being a company that takes all of its excess profits and just pours it right back into his company in terms of paying its employees, keeping the lights on, paying the rent, paying the operating procedures to be able to do everything that they do. So they're changing and they're turning into a for-profit business. Now, this is probably a result of them getting some consultation from Goldman Sachs a few months back. I remember reporting on that, I think on this channel. And you know, when I heard about that, I thought, hmm, you're only gonna go talk to Goldman Sachs if you wanna make more money. That's the only reason why you would talk to them. So obviously, they, they must have had some really interesting talks that allowed BMI to realize that if they want to maybe grow in new ways, they're gonna have to change their business model. So I know some people hear a change like this and think it's probably bad. Oh, they're just getting more greedy. They just wanna keep more money for themselves. I'm not necessarily thinking that's the case here. I mean, I'm gonna be open to whatever happens, um, but I actually am pretty optimistic about this. I think this is actually gonna to lead to more income for people like me and hopefully you and other publishers. I think this is actually gonna grow our income. It's definitely gonna grow, hopefully, if it all goes well, uh, BMI's base and how much money you can sort of uh, pull in from its clients that are using its music all over the, the you know, pretty much the world, essentially. So I'm actually optimistic about this, but I just wanted to really show a couple of parts of this article. And by the way, it's in the description box if you want to read it um, and follow along. But there was just one part here that I thought was fairly insightful in terms of why the, um, um, the CEO essentially decided to make this shift and why the company is going to be moving uh, in this direction. Uh, this paragraph right here. Asked whether the rapidly changing music business has made it untenable for a PRO to operate in a not-for-profit basis, O'Neill, who's the, um, uh, the BMI guy, uh, said, we found that the old model stifled us in terms of investing in BMI and investing for the future and what we weren't able to actually grow and that we weren't able to actually grow. For example, if we wanted to invest in an IT project, that meant we couldn't invest in other areas of the company because it would affect that year's distribution. But by changing the model, we're able to bring in financing, we're able to reinvest in companies, and we're able to profit from those companies and invest those to the benefit of BMI. We'll be using uh, this to enable BMI to do things that we were held back from doing. So it sounds like this is just giving them more flexibility in terms of if they need to push and evolve and adapt their company to match a changing and evolving industry, which is what's happening right now, they're gonna be able to do it better as a for-profit business model. So you guys probably know because you follow my channel and you're probably into sync licensing, you know that the whole world is changing so quickly in terms of um, where music is being placed, where people are getting their entertainment, where they're consuming it, how music gets licensed to these various outlets that are all coming online and starting. So the world and technology are changing at such a quick pace that you have to be able to very quickly adapt. And when a big trend maybe starts moving in a certain direction as a company, you you know if you don't have that flexibility to be able to pour some money and some resources to ad adapt to that real quick change, you can just completely be left in the dust. So. I see this as forward thinking on BMI's part. I actually think they might have been better suited to do this a few years ago. But of course, you can always make that argument for anything. You know, anything should have been done sooner. But they're definitely making, I think, the right choice. I think they're doing what they need to do in order to be more flexible and to start to be more um, adaptable to, to the, the changing world. And I think when you create that sort of profit um, incentive in a company, it starts to change the way people think and and grow and become a little bit more competitive and start thinking a little bit outside of the box because when it's a not-for-profit you know that kind of fire in your belly to really grow something and change and challenge things it's probably not always there okay it's probably not as bad as maybe you know going to the dmv and some of the attitudes you feel there but i would imagine that when you're in a for-profit environment that you just have a little bit more fire in the belly of the employees definitely have the leadership of hey we've got something to prove here. We really got to start actually showing some profits for what we're doing. So I actually see it as a good thing that could benefit all of us, including BMI and their employees and everybody else. So we're going to see, of course, as this rolls out, I will tell you guys that I am a BMI member. I've been a BMI member since 2012 or 13. 
And I'm actually really glad they're doing this and I'm glad to be hanging on to my membership. So I'm letting you guys know I'm not changing my membership. I'm really, really excited about this. Um, at least I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously, I guess, optimistic, but I really wanna see how this is gonna play out for us and what kind of new um, you know, things are gonna happen essentially at this company. So uh, let me know your thoughts. What do you guys think? Is this good? Is this bad? Are you neutral? Uh, leave your comment below. I'd love to read them.